Hi everyone! Today we're going to make these Rick inspired cupcakes with his sheriff hat and a gun. I hope you like them. Please subscribe and let's get started. So I'm starting out with a cupcake and I'm going to go ahead and frost it. You can use whatever frosting or cupcake recipe you want. And then we are going to go ahead and dip them or just sprinkle some cookie crumbs right on top. I'm going to go ahead and take some brown fondant, roll it out, and I'm going to cut a circle with this double cookie cutter set from Wilton. This is the third smallest circle cutter. And this is going to be the bottom of Rick's hat. So I'm going to take a little a ball of that fondant and I'm going to roll it up and I'm just measuring it just to see if it is the right size and I'm going to make it sort of into an elongated cube or I guess a rectangle. <laughs> I'm going to take the end of my brush and I'm going to create an indent right on top and I'm just going to smooth it out with my fingers. So this is what it looks like right now, sort of like a loaf. I'm going to keep smoothing it out and stretching it out until I get the uh, size and shape that I want. So right here I'm pretty happy with the end result and this is what it ended up looking like. So as you can see it looks like a loaf of bread kind of. So I'm going to take a brush with a little bit of water I'm going to stick that right in the middle of the circle that we cut out. And now to give more shape to the hat, I'm going to go ahead and roll up a little piece of napkin. And I'm going to place that underneath the sides of the hat so that this can dry to a good shape. Just like so. And I'm going to set that off to the side to dry a little bit. I'm going to take a little piece of a yellowy gold colored fondant and I'm going to go ahead and roll that out into a thin snake. I have this antique gold luster dust and with a brush I'm just going to dust that all over that snake that we made. My brush was a little wet so it was harder to spread the luster dust. A drier brush would be better. So once that is all done I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the bottom of our little loaf. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it from now on, a little loaf. Um, so I'm going to attach it and then I'm going to do the same thing. Roll it out, spread some luster, and attach that right on top so that we have two strings on our little sheriff hat. I was looking at pictures of Rick's hat and this is the way that his hat looks. So that's the way that I'm doing it. So then I'm going to add some more detail. I'm rolling out a thinner piece of our fondant and I'm going to make it into a V and I'm going to attach it right at the front of our hat. And then I'm just going to take a little ball and attach it right in the center. I'm going to do the same thing, roll up two little oval balls and attach it to the end of those two little strings and we're almost done with our Rick Sheriff hat. It's really, really easy. So I've just cut out a tiny little star. This is a seven point star. Um, and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water and stick that right in the front of our hat. So by this time, you can see that the bottom of the hat has held its shape because it has dried. I'm going to add half of a toothpick. I'm going to stick that right underneath the hat and I'm going to attach it to the cupcake on the side. So that's what it looks like. And now we're going to move on to making a little gun just so that the hat doesn't look so lonely. I'm going to start out with a teardrop shape. And I know my fingers are all brown and dark and stuff. My hands are not dirty. I was just uh, coloring the fondant with my hands. And so my hands are stained from food coloring. Just had to throw that out there. So now I'm making a cone out of some gray fondant and I'm going to attach it to that teardrop shape. I rolled out a little piece of that same gray and attached it to where the gray and the black meet. And with the end of my brush, I just put a little, sort of like a little indent at the tip of the gray. And with a toothpick, I'm just making some details. This is what it ended up looking like. 
Um, it's just it's very simple. So I'm gonna attach it next to the hat. And there you have your Rick Grimes cupcakes. Make sure to check out my last video, which was a zombie hand video, also inspired by The Walking Dead, here for Walking Dead Week. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. I have one more Walking Dead inspired cupcake tutorial coming up, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!